Innovations inspire you to believe that there is nothing impossible. Any problem in this world would have a solution somewhere. My name is Mohamed Aid. I'm an assistant professor of electrical engineering at New York University Abu Dhabi. I'm also the director of the Applied Interactive Multimedia Lab at NYU Abu Dhabi. Handwriting is a complex task that blends sensory, motor, cognitive, memory, and linguistic skills. Post-stroke patients have expressed their interest in learning handwriting as one of the top 10 skills that they want to learn after a stroke. This is why we decided to look into a technology that provides a more efficient and more intuitive way of supporting handwriting skill development and rehabilitation. What sparked this invention is observations of therapists and educators helping learners how to go through handwriting. And the way they do this is by holding their hand and then drive their hand across a handwriting trajectory. And I thought about why we can't create a technology like a robotic arm that would do the same without having the presence of the educator or the therapist in the room. So the first generation of the technology um, utilized a robotic arm with a pen-like stylus that the learner grasps and feels force feedback. The second generation, we got rid of the mechanical attachment to provide a completely freehand movement for the stylus, yet provide the force feedback through magnetic forces. But this was on a very limited uh, workspace. For the third generation, we extended this workspace significantly to a much larger writing surface to allow for rehabilitation exercise. A teamwork is fundamental to my research area because you can't own all the skills that it takes to create those technologies. I would say my biggest supporter has been NYUAD. First of all, in believing in me and of course in supporting my research activities. Of course, my family is always <laughs> my first inspiration and my supporters. I also would like to acknowledge ADAC for supporting this particular invention, believing in this invention and financially supporting it. My number one advice is to never work alone. Just be part of a team and get people who would inspire you, people who have different kind of skills that would all together come into creating a unique solution. <laughs>